Now, I'm sure someone's going to say that it's a bad thing that some of TikTok is finally understanding what inflation is because of a cat doubloon game on their For You page. I, however, think that as long as they understand it, that's the important part. That's it. That's my intro. Hello, traveler. My name is Amanda, and welcome to my tavern, Swell Entertainment. Today, we are talking about the cat doubloon game on TikTok. I love tweeting things out or posting about things on Instagram about potential video topics or like things that I'm looking into uh, because usually I get people who are like, I don't understand, I'm a little freaked out, but I know the video is coming, so I'm just gonna let this slide. Fair. But when I tweeted out about uh, how some TikTokers were finally really understanding like the, the ramifications of inflation because of a fictional cat doubloon game, got some interesting responses. Uh, predominantly, there were people who were desperate for me to clarify which type of inflation I meant. I forget that some of my audience is heathens, or at least you think that the internet and social media is entirely heathens. <laughs> Let's see, can I explain the other type of inflation without this being demonetized? <laughs> so... <laughs> My job is great. I love my job so much. My job is so insane. I I saw a funky little cat on my For You page for one video. Suddenly my For You page is infested and now I get to make a video on it and then you guys will watch this and then I'll make some money. That's so cool. <laughs> Capitalism makes no sense. Okay. Whew. My job is insane. So yes, um, can I explain the other type of inflation? Yes. Um, so um, in some uh, fiction, <laughs> in art of the it rhymes with geography variety, there is a certain genre called uh, inflation or cu inflation. It usually entails um, <laughs> one party becoming very large from an act. <laughs> Sometimes it lasts, sometimes it doesn't. That's all I can say. I, th I don't think I can go any further. This is different um, from vor, which is when someone is eaten by another person, but they are still alive inside the other being. I don't even know if I believe in hell, but I think I'm going there. <laughs> Okay, that part's done. That's what they thought I was talking about was the inflation, that inflation. No, I'm talking about inflation like economy inflation, okay? Um, which let me break down just a very bare basics definition of what inflation is because we are currently dealing with that uh, in the US economy. Let's talk about it really quick because I think it's a good prelude to the cat doubloon game and I just need to not. <laughs> I am 12 years old. I'm so glad I saved money aggressively because if I need to find a job, if the internet ever gets deleted, um, that you guys... <laughs> Can you explain this video you posted on this state to a future employer? <laughs> no, I can't. Okay, so according to Google, uh, inflation in economics, inflation refers to general increase in the prices of goods and services in an economy. When the general price level rises, each unit of currency buys fewer goods and services. Consequently, inflation corresponds to a reduction in the purchasing power of money. If you live in the US, you've definitely seen the effects of this, how the cost of eating out and also eating at home have both gone up, but at different rates. Cost of just living in general has gone up. And therefore the money that you had that you once were able to live on is no longer enough anymore. But then also minimum wage is not going up. And so uh, prices are rising, but then cost of living is also going up. But then the cost of income, what you're making, but then what you're making is not going up. And so uh, people who used to, you know, either live comfortably or, um, even slightly below their means are now having no choice but to pinch pennies or are struggling drastically. And this can lead to mortgages and rents not being paid, um, struggles to feed yourself, let alone your family. Not understanding my explanation, that is okay. I am a YouTuber with an English associate's degree. Find a finance YouTuber. I guarantee you they have made six jillion videos about how you can make the recession work for you, okay? That was meant to be a joke, not a dig, but I guess it came across as a dig. Sorry. So the cat doubloon game. <laughs> what is up with the doubloon market? I used to be doubloon rich. I was rolling in doubloon dough, you could say. And then someone stole all my money and I got doubloon 
duped. The cat to plume game started from the meme of the black cat with the four fingers like this that just says four doubloons. Okay, that's where it starts. I'm sorry. I, I pulled up the know your meme page for this, obviously, because I wanted to break down the actual four doubloons cat first. I need you to know the uh, ad block notification that I got on this website. Oopsie whoopsie, ooh woo, it looks like you were using a Whittle ad blocker. The code monkeys at our headquarters are working very hard to keep this site free. Please consider disabling it. Oh, whoa. Maybe I won't be alone in this fictional house. So the origin of Four Doubloons itself is on April 15th, 2021. The Instagram page cats.jpg posted a photo of a tiny kitten paw with the bottom reading Four doubloons. Shared on various platforms such as Tumblr, Reddit, etc. Starting in late October 2022, TikToker started using the slideshow feature to pose situations in which a trade could be made if the video creator was given four doubloons. Hello, traveler. I bet you're hungry from all this scrolling. Well, I can give you a hamburger, but it'll cost you four doubloons. So in November, this format started spreading from slideshows to videos. And it started for me about a week ago, okay? I just started hearing that doo -doo 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 tune. I can't actually play it. In fact, that clip probably will be copyright claimed. It'll be fascinating. But that audio is from Cold Island Lyrics sped up my singing monsters, okay? That's where that audio came from. For me, it really started with uh, someone saying they were in doubloon debt. That is where I was found out. Someone said, I am in doubloon debt. So for those of my friends on doubloons TikTok, I really really need to know how you guys are going because I've been robbed twice today, but I won like 2000 doubloons after that. I won the lottery. Did they specify how much the doubloon lottery was? No, but I'm assuming it was as much as the Powerball. So I'm guessing I'm 9 million, 9 billion doubloons. There were also 20,000 other people who liked that video, which means at least a hundred thousand people saw that video. One, where are the doubloons coming from? Two, now I'm going to have to pay like 4,000 doubloons for a bowl of soup. Soup. It's inflating too quickly. There needs to be an interest. There needs to be debt. Oh my God. The, the doubloons is girl splaining capitalism to us. Oh my God. A functioning economy. People either have infinity doubloons or negative infinity doubloons. How am I meant to feed my kids with negative infinity doubloons? Huh? The doubloon economy is crashing. And I'm like, what did I miss? Oh my goodness, the doubloon economy is crashing? Okay, so I started doing a little digging and what happens is basically, if you do want to play the doubloon game, okay, which it's kind of fizzling out slowly as I'm talking to you, but if you wanna play the doubloon game, you just have to go to search for doubloons or doubloon cats or whatever on TikTok, like a couple of videos, swipe through a few of them, maybe hit a share button without actually sharing it, and then wait like five hours, okay? Eventually these TikToks will start showing up on your For You page if you give them enough ammunition. Because remember the For You page is learning from you. It's based off of your habits. So if your videos are all teenage girls dancing, you're telling on yourself, okay? Okay. That's all TikTok is. And you are a 37 year old man, what are you doing? So the doubloon cat, you can end up playing the doubloon game. That's basically what I did is I clicked a couple of those and I was like, okay, and then suddenly, Every single video on my For You page is either a slideshow or a video saying, hello, traveler. Basically, you are a traveler. You are traveling in this fictional land. And then every once in a while, you pass through a tavern or a town or a settlement or a forest, you know, and you bump into a cat, okay? A cat, a merchant or tavern person, you know, for whatever reason, you bump into a cat. And they sometimes are like, oh, you've been traveling for so long. Here, let me give you some four doubloons. You know, you look like you rode hard and put away wet, okay? You look like you're in bad shape. You're having a bad time on your travels. We need to fix that. So they give you some doubloons. And this could be two, this could be four, this could be 10, this could be up to 100. We'll talk about that in a second. Sometimes they gift you other things like um, cloaks, soup, food, horses, you know, rucksacks, whatever, because they're just being very generous. I got a lot of cakes a lot of cakes. But then there are also times where they're like, hello, would you like to come into my shop and look at my wares to help me support my family? Everything is four doubloons, okay? Sometimes people are charging just simply $6 for a bowl of soup, which in the doubloon economy is insane, okay? So all of these things, people are like buying and selling. Some people were just buying 
everything. So suddenly they are 200 doubloons in debt, negative doubloons, because they just were buying everything that showed up on their For You page. That obviously is a very bad way to live your life, especially when you're traveling. Oh my goodness, you could end up in a town in a settlement where it's unsafe. You don't have anything to, you know, buy you shelter, protect yourself. You're just stranded with no doubloons. You're doubloonless. You're bitchless and doubloonless. Maidenless behavior. Obviously people started keeping track of it and being like, then we had videos that were like, here's how to budget your doubloons. Here's how to make proper doubloon purchasing decisions. So obviously people started tracking their doubloons. Some people made spreadsheets. There was a lot of spreadsheets. I was this close to making a notion tracker, but I didn't find one that I liked for my expense reports and I just wasn't uh, enjoying it. So uh, we just went pen and paper. I got on Dubloon TikTok today, and I hope you fuckers that have been robbing me know that I am keeping track. Everything I've gained, everything I've lost, and it's all being kept track here, and I have names. I have names. So if you ever try to cross my path again, don't even try it, bitch. My roommate just enrolled in Dubloon-iversity, and I joined the Mafia. Spreadsheet is still going strong. Keep track of everything. I got a uh, plus four for just checking out a bank account, plus 10 for opening a different Dubloon banking account. And then uh, I got a hundred doubloons uh, for a traveler gift, which is very nice. Uh, plus five for a, a starter pack of doubloons uh, and some other things for my travels, which it's very nice that the game knew I was new. Uh, and then plus four for a travel gift. Then suddenly there was a cat president on my For You page. Hello, President Dubloon here. It has come to my attention that the doubloon inflation has gotten very bad. Keep in mind that doubloon inflation is the reason prices have skyrocketed. They went from four doubloons per item to 12. We will bring back prices to four and restore peace. Uh, the cat uh, president instituted a variety of rules, including all doubloon lotteries and infinite doubloons are illegal. So doubloon lotteries are just like if you find one of them on your For You page, um, if it's over $100, uh, it's illegal now. Infinite doubloons are illegal. So you cannot have infinity and one doubloons in your stash. Also, there's tax. Uh, so we had tax now. So less than 10 balloons, you were taxed 0%. Um, 10 to 100 doubloons, 5%. Uh, 100 to 500 doubloons, 10%, 500 to 1,000 doubloons, 15%, 1,000 plus doubloons, 20%. And so obviously some people were very mad about this. They were like, wait a minute, cat president, we didn't vote for you. <laughs> This is just to catch you guys up on the doubloon lore because some of you might be behind. Uh, there's an air force now, apparently. They protect people from thieves. There's snail insurance. Make sure to get that. Dog can protect you from thieves, so that's pretty cool. There's a wizard running around and he's knocking people out, but don't worry. Uh, when you wake up, you're going to wake up with more doubloons in your pocket. I don't really know why he's knocking you out to give them to you. There's a president now. I don't remember there being an election, so I'm kind of worried about that. They instituted a bunch of taxes and policies to make sure that like inflation doesn't get too bad, so I guess they're doing a good job, but uh, where's the election? You mean you're just suddenly the cat president? If our fictional land is a democracy, then there had to have been a vote, right? So who voted for you? Because I didn't vote for you. I got a 50 doubloon gift and then I paid three doubloons uh, for milk and cookies because I thought it sounded nice and I've been traveling for so long and I just learned I'm going to be taxed, you know, and that's a lot. So I paid three doubloons, but then suddenly I was robbed. 170 balloons gone. This like traumatized me because <laughs> every time I got the new hello traveler, I was like, oh fuck, I'm going to lose all my doubloons again. <laughs> Let me tell you about this very harrowing experience I had of being robbed. So you see, I was just minding my business. At this point, I had been given um, a baby goat. And so I, I had my baby goat still, which is very nice, but um, my baby goat is not very protective. Uh, it is a baby. So I do in fact have to take care of it. And so um, I was just walking, minding my business because I don't have a job in the doubloon world. I am a wanderer. I'm just a nosy cat who just wanders from settlement to settlement, town to town, tavern to tavern, just wanting to hear the local goss about the cat president and whether or not the fighter jets are coming by and what's going on about this band of thieves. I don't know what's going on. So that's what I was doing. And so I was minding my business truly. And then suddenly this wizard shows up and he's like, hey, Let's have a chat. And I'm thinking, oh, he looks nice. So he knocks me out. And then suddenly I wake up in a basement 
And these two cats are there talking about me and their faces are covered. And I'm thinking I'm going to die. I don't know where my baby goat is. I'm very freaked out. Okay. And then all of a sudden he's, they realize I'm awake and they're like, cool. Uh, we'll let you out if we have all of your doubloons. So I, and so they take all my doubloons and then they just kick me out and I hear my goat bawling in the distance. And so I don't even think about the fact that I just lost 170 doubloons. I just moved to my baby goat and my baby goat's okay. Thank goodness. They just tied him to a tree which is fine. And then I try to go back to the, 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 the thing to get my money back because, Hey, screw you for taking all my doubloons. But no, the basement's gone. I don't even know where I came out of. Nothing looks the same. I've turned around. I'm so distraught from finding my baby goat and then losing all of my money that I have no choice, but to keep walking. Doubloonless, bitchless and maidenless. And that was genuinely very <laughs> depressing. <laughs> But honestly, that really freaked me out because then every time one of those hello traveler popped up on my for you page, I genuinely was like, oh no, I'm going to get robbed again. Rolling in fear because people are saying in the comment sections that there's somebody out there who's stealing the blooms. So now every time I scroll, I don't know if I'm going to get that post next. I'm living in constant fear because of a fucking cat giving- This is not a drill. I just got rid of all my doubloons. Every single one of my doubloons. Every last one. There's a thief. There's a thief on the loose, brothers. We must all band together to get him and bring him to justice. My Doubloon Traveler gift, which is very nice. I figured I should be able to get around more for my baby goat. So um, I spent one doubloon on a horse. This person was fighting inflation on their back. Okay. Uh, and then I got a $7 camera, but the fact that a horse was one doubloon and then a camera was seven doubloons, that seems um, like a flaw in the market. Plus four gift, plus four gift, plus five gift. I got a very cool hat for seven doubloons. Did I need the hat? No. Plus four gift, plus 45 gift. I also got gifted a bunch of things. Uh, I got gifted a, a safe, some soup, a rucksack. Like I said, I had a baby goat that was older. Then uh, one, I, oh, my mushroom hat. That's the hat I got. It was a very cool mushroom hat. So then another thief pulled up on me, but I was rescued this time by three fighter jets. There is a band of fighter jets going around and protecting travelers from thieves. And that is truly vigilante justice at its finest. Um, I was given mac and cheese and $4. Okay, I was given three free rare doubloons, but then I was able to given the option to trade these doubloons for a fighter jet. And I was like, ooh, I want a fighter jet. That might be smart. You know, the fighter jets protected me from the, you know, the thieves, maybe I could just have my own fighter jet just to, you know, keep myself safe so that they can just focus on other people. And then I'm really just doing my part as a, a, a cat citizen while still, you know, going on my fun little adventures. But then, like I said, uh, the cat president said that there's apparently counterfeit doubloons and those are all illegal. There's no special doubloons. It's just regular doubloons. But you see, I already traded the rare doubloons that were apparently frowned counterfeit for um, my fighter jet. So does that mean that I have to return the fighter jet? Am I being arrested for doubloon fraud? Like what is happening? Then there was in fact an actual vote for president because people were very mad about the cat president just taking ownership. So we have the doubloon, doubloonian, that's what some people are calling them, the doubloonian voting program. Hello everyone. I am here live watching the official doubloonian president vote. The voting will end in three days to allow people from different Time zones to vote to. The voting system can be accessed through the link in my bio. Have a nice day and stay safe. Here are 10 doubloons for staying. Who for doubloonian president? Who do you vote for for official doubloonian president? We've got POV, we are on FaceTime, doubloon opponent, toe fungus chewer, um, doubloon underscore royalty, Mrs. Kitty Whisker Bottoms, doubloon president, doubloon underscore prez, sparkle freak, it's govo, Brent 1330 Metal Funk, Brent Peterson. Um, I'm going to vote for Dubloon Royalty, even though I don't know who that is. Dubloon President received 48% uh, of the vote. His whole page is just, you know, vote for me. I hope you're doing all right in this Dubloon crisis. Oh, I have an idea. Here, have four doubloons. And don't forget to vote for me for president. Um, that sounds like you're buying a vote. Are you bribing me for my vote? I already didn't vote for you. What I would do if I was voted, create a better security system, ban doubloon handouts of over a hundred, set a price ceiling of a hundred doubloons, give everyone one party hat. Oh, that sounds cool. We'll see how that all goes and we'll see if like, you know, the, the administration is able to handle the inflation situation. But yeah, people were making uh, full graphs, trying to understand how their money, their cost of living in the doubloon cat game went up. Uh, some people just completely refused 
to partake in the inflation bit of it and the capitalism side of the whole thing, they were like, no, what are you talking about? I'm just buying soup. I don't care that I have negative 46 doubloons. I don't care that the cost of soup has gone up. I don't care that, uh, you know, people's money is going through. I'm ignoring all of that. I am just here to live in my little cat for Sona. There is a doubloon Sona, which does make me think that this whole thing may not have been a ploy to make people understand the economy and inflation, but no, it was a ploy from the furries to get more people to make furry fursonas because that's what a doubloon Sona is. I did ask, it was trending on Twitter for a little bit, or at least for me it was. And so I said, can someone draw a black cat with a baby goat in a fighter jet? Just trust me, there's a goat in there. Uh, this is from Euphoriac. Uh, this is AI art. Do you think my doubloon Sona doesn't have a butthole? Release the butthole cut. Why? Also, why does AI not add cat buttholes? There were others. AI totally failed this, but there is a couple fun ones. This is my very scary looking lopsided cat on one fighter jet. And I think I'm about to square off with another fighter jet. This one is adorable. Um, but again, they're skipping out on the baby goat part of things. I think they're just merging the baby goats, which is concerning. Someone drew this one, black cat, baby goat, and then we are actually riding on the fire fighter jet. I did like that they gave the the baby go to Binky. <laughs> In my head, I do picture my doubloon cat, my doubloon Sona to have like, yeah, like she's a black cat and like a cool uh, cloak with like, uh, with her mushroom hat on. Uh, but also she has like a fun, like purple tail or something, like something kind of fun pattern. I don't know. There is also a um, doubloon cat mafia. They are either committing crimes, but also they are going after the thieves. There is also doubloon thieves now that they, they are choosing to partake in being thieves because they were robbed and, you know, become the thing that scares you. I think the doubloon president voting is ongoing. So by the time this video is out, I'm sure doubloon presidente will be, you know, head of the world. This did in fact make it to the New York Times, I believe. What are doubloons? The imaginary currency of TikTok. In the latest viral TikTok trend, users participate in an imaginary economy centered on fake money fueled by cat pictures. Also, this article is from uh, Anna Grace Lee and Callie Holterman. I didn't even know that Lauren Gray was on doubloon talk. That's actually hilarious. She went on to say that offline, her friends don't understand what she meant when she told them about the happenings on doubloon TikTok. She captioned the video, the doubloon IRS are, is that at my door and no one understands. And even as the doubloon economy gets increasingly complex, Miss Bishop offered a clue to its popularity among the TikTok crowd. She said its collaborative silliness is a relief compared to the high stakes of the real one. People really like the idea of being able to influence this little micro economy. It feels like they're able to be a part of it in a way that's way less stressful than real money. <laughs> Alexis Bishop, an actor who lives in Orlando, Florida, keeps track of her 174 doubloons on a whiteboard in her office. The only rule of the doubloon world is that everyone agrees to play along. In the span of days, the game, is, the game is taken on layers, morphing into an intricate web that mimics real life economic consequences and capitalistic practice. Although the looseness of the doubloon economy's money supply would horrify non-feline central bankers. When people began to make videos offering viewers large sums of free doubloons, the community faced inflation. Some people have been robbed by doubloon thieves and pirates. Other users have set up shops selling wares such as stews, crystals, cottages, offering doubloon insurance and bank accounts and adopting user names like doubloon university. Several users announced their campaigns for doubloon president and at least one account indicated the community would hold an election. Apparently Lauren Gray knowing about it is take the doubloon talk moving into the mainstream, which I do think very funny. I don't think this is going away right this second. It's definitely slowed down a little bit because TikTok's, you know, attention span is very rapid. It'll be interesting to see how the reaction, the reactions to the presidential election play out. The doubloon cat president presidential elections, obviously. Like I told you guys, I have a lot of, you know, anxiety over being, you know, robbed in the basement. The place should be investigated, but I have a lot of, you know, anxiety over that. And so naturally I started using my doubloon bank account very heavily to protect the doubloons I did have, you know, as a form of insurance, okay? But then I just found out from my bank, they just put out a notice that apparently the mafia is gonna hit our bank. They're planning on attacking our bank, but don't worry because they have an elite force of skilled fighters to protect the bank. Attention Dabloon bank account owners, do not panic, but the mafia is planning on robbing our bank. Luckily, the Dabloon bank has found brave soldiers to protect your Dabloons from the great mafia boss. Hello, 
Hello. 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 I thought when I put my money into the cat doubloon bank account that this bank was FDIC insured. Is it not? Up to 250,000 doubloons. That's what I thought. But no, apparently my security for my doubloon savings is a bunch of cats named Frank who maybe know karate. What is this doubloon economy coming to? I mean, my goodness, they see capitalism brings innovation, but no, gosh, anyway. <laughs> Go play it, it's fun. Get into it, take it seriously. You know, if you wanna partake in the capitalism, partake in the capitalism, why not? Maybe you'll learn something, but that's gonna be it. Um, I will continue to play as it falls across my For You page. I think I have a total of like 45 doubloons right now and then like 10 and six. Are you on doubloon talk? Have you ever thought about being on doubloon talk? Are you familiar with the four doubloons cat meme? Do you see my tweets about doubloon sonas and get very freaked out and thought I was a furry all of a sudden? Let me know, comment down below. Right now I have a podcast, the Swell Shenanigans podcast. It is coming back, I promise. It's not gonna be on hiatus indefinitely, I promise. Reminder, I have merch like that mug back there. Shout out to my patron. Thank you so much for supporting my Patreon. If you'd also like to support my Patreon, I'll visit down below. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, that'll be all up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye, Trump. All right, fine. I'll give you four doubloons. But I will take all of your doubloons. Ha! Thank you, Alan, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Chris P, Crash PC, China, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Evan, Eric, Eyal, Hopeless, Incognito, Jack Ray, James, Joe, John, Jordan, Kenny, Kim, Kristen, Lamb, Lexis, Luis, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew S, Meme Lord, Michael, Michael, J, Micah, Nathan, Nathaniel, Pat, Penn, Richard, Rob, Red, Robert, Rob, Sam, Serena, Ciara, Skylar, Simon, Tasha, Timothy, Havenly, Plastic, Tom, Cordy, Randy, Wendy, William, Zendry, Zwing.